what is up? Joshua Casper here with the last, at least for today, I've made all of these tutorials today. I've learned it all today, but this is the last one um, for the stereo swapper. I've got version 4 up here, and what I've done is just I switched the graphic and I switched the dry wet position so the dry is first, and I also added a initial value to 0 dB for the dry and z, uh, infinity, negative infinity for the wet. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that and hopefully it will go fairly quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the version that I just made inside the Explorer and delete it so we can start fresh. Delete. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is come in and take out version 3. And I'm going to open it up inside of Max for Live. And like I said, um, I'm going to click on the background image and come into Inspector. And to change the background image, I just come in to choose, and I change, uh, choose the new file, which is version 4 PNG. And that's all. I don't have to change anything else for that. It's still going to be included in the background. Ignore click, this and that. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to switch these sides. And I'm going to move it over a little bit. Click here. Try to make it look nice. And I'm going to move this over here. And now I'm going to pay attention down here when I save as to see what the design looks like. So I'm going to save as and I'm going to change it to 4. Save. Cool. And I, I like the way it looks. I might move the nudge the wet over just a tad, maybe one click. There we go. I think that looks pretty smooth. Now the next and the final thing I'm going to do is click on wet and come into the inspector and come down until I come to initial. I want to enable initial and I'm going to double click in here and go negative 70 dot boom. So that's as low as it will go on the scales, negative 70. And for the dry I'm going to come down to Initial, and I'm going to leave it at zero. Initial, uh, enable, and I'm going to leave it at zero. And that should be it. I'm going to come in and hit save. And when they're checkered like that, and we're in, um, if we're in presentation mode and they're checkered, it means there's you've made a change to them and you haven't saved it yet. So now that that's saved, I've got version four, and uh, let's get out of here. Close this down and delete it and then I'm going to bring it in. Um, if you don't see the device that hasn't updated, just click out of it and click back into for Max for Live and it will update. But um, So this is version 4 and boom. Now that I've dropped it in there, notice that it starts at 0 here and it starts at infinity dB here and that's what we were looking to do. So that's the uh, last tutorial, at least for today, for the JC Stereo Swapper. Uh, this is a basic 101, like I said. We'll get into some much more complicated stuff later on down the road, but I am tuckered out for today. Um, I'm going to put up all of the source files. I'm going to put up the background images and all versions of the swapper. And uh, V4 will be the final one if you just want to use it. I don't know why you would. It's a pretty simple device. But uh, anyway, I hope you learned a bunch following along and uh, send me any questions that you have. Obviously, rate, subscribe, comment, share this around. Sharing is caring and we will see you next time.